What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how to start stretching out your lats. I broke out the marker again to make sure you can understand, because this is an important one. You know, this is a muscle that a lot of times doesn't get all the attention that the muscles on the front of our body do, because we can't see it. But worse off, it never gets stretched as much as it should be, and that is probably causing a lot of problems for you, especially if you're an athlete. You see, throwing athletes rely on being able to get into a proper overhead position. But if your lats are tight, as I'm going to show you, it can really impair your ability to do that. Not only that, just our casual lifters who don't stretch their lats enough, anytime you try to get up and overhead for any type of overhead lifting move, if your lats aren't adequately loose, you're going to have compensations and problems that you're going to get in your shoulder joint that could sort of render the rest of your upper body workouts useless. So now, what is the lat? How are we going to stretch it out? That's the important thing. If we look on the other side first, you can see kind of the overall structure of the lat. It's a big, broad muscle. That's where it gets its name from. Latissimus means broad. So it's a big, broad muscle that comes up here, attaches onto our upper arm bone, our humerus, okay, and it crosses down, and it has attachments all the way through into the back here, along our, uh, our spine. And on most people, not everybody, which I think is pretty interesting, it will insert right down here into the pelvis, too. So it comes all the way down and inserts into the pelvis. So we can see that it's controlling a lot of stuff. It's connecting from your pelvis to your arm. So if we want to stretch it adequately, then we've got to figure out what its functions are so we can do the exact opposite of that and make sure that we're getting at it the right way. That's where the lines come in. I think it helps you guys to visualize as we take it through step by step. So one of the most common ways you'll see people try to stretch their lap is they'll grab on to something at about this height and they'll lean back, right? I'll do it from this side. Grab on and they'll lean back and they'll stretch it out. Am I stretching it? Yeah, I definitely am. But you have to remember, if it's attaching to the arm and it's attaching all the way down in here, we can make that a better stretch by getting our arm way up over our head. You see, when you're trying to create any type of stretch, you're trying to create, take those two points of attachment as far away from each other as you possibly can. So if I can get my arm up in a way and then drop down, now I can get a bigger stretch because you can see that the point is now here to all the way down in here versus here and all the way down in here. So we've increased that length just by doing that. You should be able to see that on the blue lines. But that's only one part of the equation. Now the next thing is, remember I said it attaches down here to your hips? Well, if your hips stay in line right here and I don't drop them back so much, then we're not getting the maximum stretch we could. So the next phase is I want to take my arm, get it high, and then drop my hips back as far as I can. So I'm pushing my hips all the way back as far as I can to get more and more and more stretch way down here in these lower fibers of the lats. Okay, so that's two parts. But now it gets a little bit more interesting because we know that it's going to attach to our vertebrae on one side, kind of feeding into the back. So what we want to do next is when we're here, if I wanted to get my vertebrae further away from this point, what would I do? I would rotate away from it. So now when I'm here, if I rotate my hips to the left, you see this is staying fixed because I'm holding on, but my spine is going the other way. My spine is heading that way. My arm is staying this way. So now by rotating, now I'm getting more and more of a stretch. So my hips are back, my arm is up, I'm rotating away. We're almost there. We got one more dimension here that we need to stretch. And that would be a side bend. Because again, if it's attaching to this portion of my back, right here in my spine, if I were to side bend like that, now I'm getting even more of a stretch of those muscles. Okay, so side bending over. So now we're back here again, we're up high, we're sinking back, we twist away, and then I take my hips and I shoot them that way, towards you guys in this direction. Now, as I rotate and I come up that, my friends, that's the way you stretch your lats out.